Hi everybody, I am back to post another video. <coughs> My dog agrees, that's a good <laughs> that's a good thing. But I wanted to start really quick answering a question that someone had posted <clears throat> about my dear Caro bag. And I still have this little guy. It's the new one that they sent me. I sent the other one back. Everything's great. Uh, the question they asked was about the way I make this top handle. So I lock the chain in using, I'll, I'll show everybody, but I locked it in so it has this top handle and it has a shoulder strap. Um, it moves a little bit, but for the most part it stays. And the question was how how I lock it in. So I use this. I bought these on Amazon. It was $8 for two sets. Uh, each set has two of them. And there was one that's silver and there is one set that's gold. The gold one is what I'm using right now. But what I did is it comes like this there's a little screw at the top and then if you loosen the screw this thing opens up can you see and then you can open it up loop in the chains that you want close it back up and then screw it back down so it's tight and it'll hold so i have one of each on each each side i have one here that's holding it and then one here that's holding it right there it kind of blends in because the shape of it is kind of similar to the... Well, now I'm looking at it, it's a little bit different, but from far away it looks very similar. And so it holds and then the color blends and then you can keep it in this form to where it kind of has the top handle and the strap. The nice thing is it helps you kind of tailor your bag a little bit without doing anything permanent. You don't have to take out any links or, or punch another hole or anything like that. It just holds and then let's say one day you feel like you don't want to do that anymore. You just unscrew it, take it out, and it goes back to its original form. Then yeah, that's it. These I did have to buy by myself. Unfortunately, Dior doesn't supply these, but I'm just happy enough they sent me a new bag and took the other one back. And I know there's been folks that's posted to say, hey, you know, we're glad everything worked out. Thank you, because I am too. I, now that it's over, I can honestly say I was losing it. I was like flipping out, but eh, it's good now. So everything's great. And that brings me to my video I'm going to do about this tote. I purchased this last year, right before I started this buying freeze of mine. So this year I'm just gonna do a bunch of reviews. No unboxings, all reviews because I'm not gonna buy anything. So this is the tote. <clears throat> this is an Anya Hindmarch. I am not a plastic bag. I feel like I wanted to start with this video because when I went to research this, I literally couldn't find anything on it. I take that back, I did find one thing. It was a video, but it was in Japanese and they actually didn't really review the bag. I think I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know. I think it was more like an infomercial of the bag and what you can wear with it. So although I didn't understand anything, and <laughs> they didn't really go into the bag, her outfits look nice. That was good. So I was like, yeah, it, you can pair it. And I think that's important because you wouldn't think with all the stuff going on on the outside that it would go well with certain things, but it actually does. I use this bag for like a whole two weeks and my colors are normally neutral. I don't wear any like bright colors for some reason. I think this card again is about as bright as it gets, uh, but it works. It doesn't sit strange. And I really wanted to start this doing videos with this bag first is because there are quite a few of them that are on sale and I think it's a great bag. I bought this one from Saks Fifth Avenue. It's the, I think it's the largest size. It's about, um, 20 inches across and about 11 inches tall. I think the width is of almost four inches and it's it's a great tote. I mean my first question is have you guys used a tote lately because I haven't and I was pleasantly surprised about how great totes are. How great are totes? They're just like a giant a giant uh, accessory you can just bring everything you want in it and I love that because before I was using me in small bags, you kind of have to be a little bit more aware of what you're bringing because you don't want it to where it's so full it doesn't close or every time you go to try and grab something, things are flying out of your bag, you're having to shuffle or you're having to stuff it. 
I don't mind stuffing my bag, but I do mind having to like sort through and try and find something in a very tight environment. Like I'm not a huge fan of that. But <clears throat> with something like this, you don't have to worry about that. You can carry anything you want. And that's what, that's what I did. I carried everything I wanted to carry, which is nice. If you want to carry a smaller bag in there, you want to carry some accessories, like for winter, you have a hat, a scarf, your kid's scarf, your husband's scarf, you just shove it all in there. Um, I had like a binder at one point because I had a meeting and I was like, stuff that in there. I like pencil cases, you know, extra hand lotion, whatever, whatever you want. And it'll fit. That's amazing. And it just goes with you wherever you want to go. I know there's a lot of people who are minimalists and carry the bare minimum. And I definitely appreciate that. And I, I usually channel that. But then every once in a while, you do want to carry everything in the kitchen sink. And you can with this. So that's nice. But specifically, kind of going back to, back to the bag. It's it's one, one main compartment. I should probably start with that. One main compartment. The inside has this sewn onto the back it's not completely sewn down so this thing does come up it's like this little flap there's a zipper compartment up here that goes into just an open space and there are three card slots here there's no zip or button closure there are these two like leather ties on the inside so you can it's getting mixed with a handle but easy there are these two leather straps that one on each side if you want to tie it but because they're leather it's pretty stiff so it doesn't really stay tied easily but you could it's almost like the no way from Louis Vuitton that you kind of have to loosen it up and then it starts to kind of stay situated when you tie it uh, there's no feet on this tote which I always thought feet on toes were kind of funny but you know why not um, here's the back of the bag there are these leather corners sewn down which is nice and this color is cedar and it's this brown leather with this pattern which is like a coated canvas that has it's brown and I think it's really dark blue sometimes it looks almost black and it matches everything everything that I wear it matches and I think the really nice thing about this bag is there's a lot of there's a lot of materials that designers can use <clears throat> when they use something like this, it's there's kind of like that extra bonus because the plastic that's used is actually plastic that would have gone into landfills. And I'm not an environmentalist by any means, but anytime we can, you know, save a little bit in that aspect and use it towards something like this where it's like sustainable fashion, I think it's really cool. They did an interview with Anya Heinmarch on it and she kind of explained the whole process. But our own little planet, I think, could use some help. So, I mean, why not? And then you get this beautiful bag to carry it with you for all the stuff that you need. So I thought it was, it was really cool. The strap drop is perfect for me. I can wear, like, a thick sweater like this and still put it on without it catching. Like, it doesn't get jammed into your, into your underarm, which is nice. I've worn this with a puffer coat, and it still goes... Um, I don't worry about stuff falling out. I don't worry about people being able to, you know, stick their hand in there and steal something because when you have it as a tote, it's pretty close to your body and your arm normally rests over it. For someone to... Mail's here! For someone to get into there, it's probably not very easy. You could probably feel it. And I normally don't go into places that have, like, a really dense population of people. Um, I don't commute so to where there's that like extra exposure and so for me I don't worry about it if if it's different for anyone else you know that's something you might want to be mindful of but I think it's great and the other things it's really light it's super light between this bag and let's say like the Neverfull I have a Guillard St. Louis tote I think this this is like a happy medium for me the never full when it came out it was super popular and i'm sure there's definitely like tons of reasons why but i feel like so many people had it it just kind of saturated the 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 market to where it's like oh my god everybody has it to where it, i kind of shied away for, from it the goyard tote is nice but it's so flimsy to me 
it's it almost feels like it's not it's not it's not going to sustain the way I use stuff because like I mentioned like when I'm going to use this tote I'm going to put it all in there that's the reason why I'm carrying a tote is because it's huge and I can put a bunch of crap in there when I had that oh I still have it but when I was using it it where it attached to the bag the strap the sides started to crack and then in my mind I was like oh it's gonna break like I'm gonna snap the strap and so I don't use it as much I don't reach for it um, and on top of that it's flimsy like super flimsy this one it is but then like if I set it it can still kind of hold the St. Louis square tote does not hold so I think this was a great purchase I would recommend it to everybody if you want to if you have days where you do want to carry all of your possessions, why not? It's a good tote. And you would think that because there's this phrase on the front, it looks goofy, but it's actually, I think it's cool. So hopefully this helps. If anybody's out there on the market, I would recommend you go for it. They are on sale. There's a whole bunch of different colors and I am very, very certain that you won't be disappointed. So thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day.